I have here a 6x3 array, as you can see. And we're going to work a little bit on division practice here. We know that 6 times 3 equals 18, as shown in the picture and shown right here. 6 times 3 equals 18. And with that in mind, we also know that 3 times 6 equals 18. You might also know that 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18, or 3, excuse me, erase that, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 18. And I know that if I needed to, I could count each individual box right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. What would happen if I said to take 18 divided by 3? Now, I could go about this division problem in a couple different ways. Let's start with the typical way that we would normally think of. This problem would be eight, you have your full 18 circles. We need to take one, two, three, and group those together. And division is nothing more than figuring out how many equal groups of three I can make with this total of 18. So we would have one, we would have two, we would have three, four, five, six, and all I did was I was circling groups of three. Splitting them equally, remember, they always need to be equal in division. So by just counting those, I could say that we have one, two, three, four, five, six groups. So 18 split into groups of three we can have pull out six total groups. Well, what if someone was to tell you that division is just like repeated subtraction, kind of like when we were doing multiplication, six plus six plus six, when we had all these, this is six, this is a six, and this is a six. And we have three of those groups, 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. What if we were to t try using repeated subtraction? Would that work? Well, there's only one way to try. Let's take our total of 18, 18 total circles, and let's take away that same problem, 18 divided by 3. We're going to take away a group of 3. If I have 18 and I take away this group right here of 3, I'm left with a total of 15. If now I take away 3 from my 15, I'm left with 12. And we're going to repeat that. Now if, you're, if you look, you'll see we have 15. We took what, 3 away from 15, we're left with 12 took 12, now we take away 3 more, which gives us 9. We're at 9, we take away 3 more, we're at 6. 6 minus 3 is going to equal 3. And then we have 3 minus 3 more, it's going to equal 0. So now we have nothing left to take from with 3 groups. At this point I need to figure out how many times did I take 3 groups away from my total of 18. 
So every circle I make here is an equal time I took three away. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six times. So we have proved 18 divided by 3 gives us 6 equal groups.